Hi, welcome to cconly.com. My name is Jane and today I'm going to show you how to assemble our chicken coop. Um, I'm going to open this box and lay everything out, so stay tuned. The tools you're going to need are a Phillips head screwdriver, I prefer using a powered one, and a pair of pliers, and a knife for opening the box. And we have our, you'll find an instruction manual with easy to follow diagrams and there should be 18 different pieces, although some of them there will be two. So now we have all the pieces laid out and it might be easier if you put them in order by number. Most of the pieces are pretty manageable but some of them are a little heavier so if you're having difficulty you might want to ask someone for help. And, um, oh, is that it? We're going to start by building the run area underneath the house. and. There are four holes here, so you're going to need four of the longer screws. I've already done these three, so I'm going to show you this one. All the holes are pre-drilled, so that just goes in there. And you have the nut underneath. And then we're going to continue with the other side once you're done. So for the next step, we're going to attach these two parts to complete the run area and you're going to need two black screws for each side. And, and then we have to secure the other side and then we'll start building the back. And now we're putting on the back of the run area and you're going to need four of the longer gold colored screws. I've already done this side, so... And now we're going to continue with building the main house area. Now we're building the sidewall with access to the run area, and you're going to need four of the black screws. Um, one over here, one over here, and then the same on the other side. And now we're putting on the outside um, sidewall. Next we have to build a nesting area and be sure that you finish this part before attaching the front and the side of the house. And for this one you're going to need four of the shorter golden screws. Now we need to secure the back of the house, and then um, you're going to need four of the black screws. And now for the rest of the nesting area, this is the bottom, and it just slides right in. You don't need to put in any screws, but if you want it to be stronger, you can always add some. And this is the back. And this is the back of the nesting area. the roof 
pieces, which just fit on. Um, it doesn't come with any screws or nails, but you can always put on, put in some wood nails for additional strength and protection from the weather or from predators. And that's it. There's also some additional information about this chicken coop that we'd like to share with you. The inside has been left um, unstained, so it's up to you to decide if you'd like to have staining put on the inside or if you'd like to leave it with the natural wood finish. Additionally, um, in case if there are um, creatures like raccoons or coyotes living in your area, you might want to consider adding an extra layer of protection, maybe a fence around the entire chicken coop. And from since it is a natural wood product, we would recommend using a waterproof coating to coat the outside and the interior of your chicken coop to ensure that it lasts a long time and so that your chickens can live a long and happy life in their new chicken coop. Thanks for watching our video.